guys, I'm back again and I have for you today a review of the Obama Inheritance. Now, this book was sent to me for review by Three Room Press. The Obama Inheritance is a compilation of short stories. It's 15 short stories written by 15 different writers and they're based on conspiracy theories. These conspiracy theories either turn around some of the craziness that the GOP was making up about Obama, but not only, but not only that, there are also things about what is to come with Trump being president. I was really excited to read this, although I was a little bit hesitant as well because I really wasn't sure what I was getting myself into, but you know, I figure I'm gonna try something new. This book was clearly, I repeat, clearly out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. I would, you know, was prepared to soldier on and give it a try. I would pretty much estimate that a lot of these stories revolve around kind of like a science fiction slash dystopian kind of feel to them. So as you know, I'm not a lover of reading science fiction. Sorry, I'm just not. I prefer watching that on screen, but that didn't stop me. I still continue to read on. But what I found was that the first story was uh, uh, concerning uh, Michelle Obama. And it kind of made me laugh, but it kind of got, you know, got a good reaction out of me. So I was like, oh, okay, this, this could be fun. And then as the stories progress, they, they're like out there, you know, with the stuff. So there are, yeah, some real out there ones. I would say firstly that the stories are placed in the correct order because this, the, the Obama inheritance was edited by Gary Phillips. I think he did a good job in arranging the stories in the right order so that you, your interest is somewhat piqued. Now, the thing is, I would say my interest was great from the very beginning up until page 195. This book is exactly 304 pages. So basically, I would say about two thirds of the book, I was in for it. There was some really interesting ones from the lizard men, the robots, the femme fatale, you know, everything that's written on the front cover. There was that and more in there. But once we got to page 195 and I started to read the story on that page, which is a story by Christopher Chambers, I think it is, and it's called The Psalm of Bo, I checked out. I checked out for many reasons, mostly because I felt like I was reading absurdity on the page at some points, things that were just a little bit over the top and weirdness. It just got weirder and weirder from page 195 till the end. But weirdness that didn't seem like necessary weirdness, it just seemed like weirdness for weirdness sake. So I kind of checked out on it, I really did. And uh, I tr believe me, I tried. I read this entire book, but honestly, the end was not for me at all. Not at all for me. So would I suggest that other people read this book? I would say yes, I would recommend you to read it, especially if you're someone who likes sci-fi slash dystopian. And if you like reading short stories, you might get a chance to learn about some new writers in here. I would suggest that you read it. Also, you, you're going to need to know something about what is going on polit politically in the U.S. and have been following the elections and even following, you know, before when Obama was president. Because if you don't really know anything about American politics, you're going to find this hard to get into. You're not going to, you're not going to get why they're saying what they're saying or why they've set the story up while they set it up. And it's not going to really mean anything to you and you'll probably give up because you don't, you don't really know what's going on. So I would suggest this is for people that know what's going on polit politically in the U.S. and had been following when Obama was president. But also people that like sci-fi slash dystopian and people who like weirdness because on the back of the book it says, if I remember correctly, following the tradition of satirical works of, by Swift and Twain with nods to the likes of William S. Burroughs, so I'm out, that is really not my cup of tea, and Philip K. Dick, not my cup of tea. 
These tales contain vigilant first ladies, Supreme Court justices who clone themselves, gear popping robots of doom, and races of ancient lizard people revealing their true master plan. And these are just the tame ones mashed up in the blender of fake news bots. Climate change hoaxes and outlandish spins of bizarro conspiracy theories. Okay, so that's what's written on the back of the book. So you heard, you know, William S. Burroughs. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. You heard Philip K. Dick. So you kind of know what you're going to get from this. I gave this book three stars because I think the writing in general was to a good caliber. I just didn't appreciate the last six stories of the book. So that's all I have for you today. Let me know if you picked up the Obama inheritance and tell me what you think about it. And let's talk about it below. I'll be back with another review very soon. Bye.